The statistician for Titus Worldwide. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Tremendous athlete, great competitor. Once upon a time, she was a protege of one Charlotte Flair. And now she's moved on to the lead statistician for Titus Worldwide. You have any great stats on this match tonight at NXT for Dana Brooke? Yeah, 60% of the time, Dana Brooke's statistics are right every time. And what exactly are these statistics? Well, it depends on the situation, Byron. It's not like she just pulls these facts out of thin air. There's a lot of research. There's development. There's studies involved. Hopefully they come with a fact checker. Here comes the riot squad! And her opponent. Accompanied by Sarah Logan and Ruby Riot, representing the Riot Squad from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. WWE could use a little anarchy. Would you agree, fellas? Uh, I don't agree with that. I get nervous whenever these three are around. the bell and here we go this oh. is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say this is what WWE shoulders on the back a oh, quick kick out from Liv Morgan she's still in this one Precision. Back in from the floor. Extend your elbow. She's taking on some offense here. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. And there's the reversal from Dana Brooke. Oh, and she gets out of the way. And there's the reversal from Dana Brooke. And look at hung up on the second. Get in there, ref. Nailed it. Going for the cover. And there's still plenty of fight left. Wow. Dana Brooke is looking at this right now. She's starting to fight out, guys. Look at this. She releases the hold. That's a little surprising. No. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. Oh, the old head scissor. Face crusher. Dana Brooke may be in a bad way here. She's in there with some stiff competition oh, tonight. She looked great coming out of the gates, guys, but somewhere along the lines, she started to falter for some reason.
Byron, he's got the sleeper locked in. The sleeper hold is locked in. This could be it. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. On oh, a tilt to world. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at her go. Liv Morgan sizing it up. Boom! <laughs> that changes the entire complexion of this match. But now, can Liv Morgan capitalize? And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Gonna take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the 201 face breaker. That might can she keep her down? Kicks out in time. She's still in this one. She goes for the cover. And Dana Brooke easily getting the shoulder up. Have to put in a little more work than that. Harsh impact. Gonna be woozy after that impact. Dana Brooke is showing signs that it could be ending soon. I don't know how much more punishment she can take. I would never question her toughness. But at this point, I just don't see how she can win this match. She's simply taking too much offense. Oof. But does Dana have enough gas in her tank to capitalize? This might be it! Oh, my. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. The night could be over for Liv Morgan. Across the shoulders. Up and... Warm up. There's a pin now. One, two, three. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. That match is worth another look. Here we go. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. Critics of these ladies in the WWE might not have been very impressed, but they did do some nice things in there. Nobody can say he didn't earn this win here. Really a solid, bordering here on great performance. Here is your winner, performance. Liv Morgan. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. I don't make the matches, but if I did, I'd put...